Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Barb Mitchell, joining you, to, joining you today live from Capacity Europe here at the O2 in London at the Intercontinental. Uh, and joining me is Niraj Shah, Director of Business Development for IX Africa. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, thanks for joining here. us. Yeah, we were having such a such a nice chat. We had to cut off our chat so we could uh, come join the the rest of the audience here. But um, tell us, you know, let's carry on our conversation. We were talking about IX Africa. We were talking about the the growth in general of the industry in Africa. Let's but let's start with IX Africa. And if you wouldn't mind telling our audience just a little bit about about sure, your company. Sure, sure. You know, IX Africa is well, it's, it's a carry neutral data center. It's the first one in uh, Eastern Central Africa on a hyper level scale. Yeah. And uh, basically, and it's one of my panel discussions this time around as well, where we're talking about the whole transition of digital in Africa, how, yeah. how Africa is digitally just being enhanced and a lot of transition happening. How do we build it? So what we've done is we've built up a hyperscale data center to make sure that Internet connectivity is available for everybody. So data center would generally be the heart of it, the core of it, and then the connectivity goes around with, you know, with all this, what I call the spinal cord. So, you know, things, things work well. So yes, we built one of the biggest ones. We've actually gone live since we last talked. Yeah. Uh, we're live with a uh, one megawatt right now and we'll ramp up to four and a half megawatts uh, in Nairobi, Kenya. And it's, it's just a fantastic data center. We, you know, it's, yeah. it's wonderful. Yeah, and, and so you started to talk about it, but you, so you have this panel that's coming up today during yes. the show. And, and I mean, it, it's so important. I, I feel like Every time I'm here at Capacity Europe, especially and, and other shows, people are talking about the the huge growth that's happening in Africa. And I know you're covering that on your panel, uh, just the transition to digital in Africa. So, so just can you give a, a little teaser? Uh, I yeah, know a sure. lot of people may attend and want to hear more. No, absolutely. I think uh, Africa is is you know it's the next frontier, as we know. You know, a lot yeah. of lots happening in Africa. It's got a very young population and what what this is all about now is where's the new market right and so that's what we're talking about yeah. the affinity to adopt to cloud and so we look at the hype yeah. is now looking at coming into africa setting up huge data centers for themselves yeah. or locate with us and so the idea is to now make sure that africa is fully connected and that whole transition uh, on, on on cloud and just the availability of internet is what yeah. we're talking about so it's going to be in essence talking about where is it going? Where is Africa going and why Africa? Yeah. And, you know, you got to be there to listen. Right. To it. So, <laughs> so that's a good, a yeah, a good yeah. teaser. I, yeah. It, it, I'd love to attend that. I think it'll be a really interesting Absolutely. discussion. And, and I know one of the major drivers behind this, you know, other than the fact we talked about earlier is the sort of the maturity of the market from a cloud adoption perspective. But one of the things driving that being artificial intelligence specifically yeah, yeah. you know ai is it's a different game because people think uh, it's far away it isn't yeah. you know it's the fourth industrial revolution as we put it and uh, you know it's progressively every every revolution's been a lot shorter uh, yeah. ai is is you know going exponentially growing so we are actually cloud uh, our, or rather our data center is actually ready to accommodate ai servers uh, which is high density uh, servers and why is that because i think a lot of the compute will now sit within Africa, within Kenya, instead of it going all the way outside to Europe, to South Africa, right. because that latency factor is going to be a very important factor. And, uh, you know, it's this generation that really wants everything instantly. So it's going to be something that's required for, uh, you know, for all the hyperscalers, all the cloud providers, content providers to be able to execute very quickly. Mm -hmm. So our data center is probably the only data center in Kenya right now that's actually yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ready to rock and roll in a big way. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it makes me think when you think about these, the huge workloads that are required to, for, for AI and, and some of these other things, um, sustainability always comes up, right? And, and I think we were talking before and you told me an interesting stat about the amount of renewable energy, specifically in Kenya. Tell, tell us, tell our so viewers about 93 that. 93% of the power. Yeah. yeah. The actual power coming from the grid, 93% of it is renewable energy, right? Yeah. right? And it's made up of geothermal hydroelectric, wind, and solar. Amazing. Yeah. And it's it's green. So, you know, with people talking about going green, going carbon zero, we're already carbon zero as such, right? right? Yeah. And then for our redundancies, we may have to make sure that we have available power just in case. It's a requirement, obviously, that from a lot of the hypers and just generally, we use biodiesel for our generators. So we're green. We're, right. we're, we're the only guys. Yeah. And that biodiesel is actually manufactured in Nairobi as well. So, you know, we're there. Uh, so having such a green grid, uh, having good redundancies that are green, 
yeah. and having a wonderful climate just makes the data center operations fantastic. Very, very easy to work with. And whoa, watch. There you go. That's the breeze that's come in. And that's why you... you, you... <laughs> so, sorry about that, guys. But there we have it. But in general... yeah. That's, we're, that's, we're talking about yeah. we're talking about the earth here, yeah. so that was a good yeah. moment. But yes, yeah, so carry so on. Yeah, talking about, you know, just what happened. Wind. We have one of the yeah. largest wind farms in Africa that's based in Kenya. It generates three thousand megawatts of uh, power. Wow! Yeah. So yeah, and it's powerful. And it's powerful <laughs> it can, can do a lot. Right? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, it's quite interesting. So Kenya's it's it's actually very very well set up in every aspect for data centers. Uh, in every aspect for cloud to grow. Because all these, whoops, and it's coming through again. <laughs> I think it likes you a lot. I know, uh, apparently. Yeah. I'm just... Oh, um, yeah. So, yeah, so in, 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 it's, the right, it's the right situation right now. Yeah. And we've actually gone ahead and actually bought a second site. Okay, yeah. Uh, which is even cooler than where we are currently right. because it's an ele at a high elevation and probably drops about 5 to 6 degrees centigrade Hmm. Uh, you know, compared to Nairobi right now, which, you know, on a on a good day, Nairobi is probably about 24, 25 degrees centigrade, which is great. Yeah. Uh, this will drop it down Moderate. to maybe 18 to 20, which is quite okay. cool. Yeah. So what does that mean? It's free cooling. Right. You're cooling your uh, your servers at a, right. at a good rate. Yeah. So yeah. talk about sustainability. It's there. Everything check, is check. there. Yeah. 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 So and, and anything that's being built new there, which, which a lot is, I think, with new infrastructure builds, it's all being done so with sustainability in yes. mind from the onset right absolutely you yeah. know we're, we're we are very aware of uh you know of getting our carbon footprint down yeah and i think in general so in also when i come, come back to ix africa we've had it as keep it africa in a big way where we push africa in every aspect so all our uh the whole building has been built locally with local uh stone etc yeah. we've had uh, all our uh, equipments provided by local existence so they have franchises make sure we have a, uh, you know availability of service and everything so generators cooling yeah. it's all of that so very much boosting africa to grow and africa is yeah. quite aware kenya more so about right. uh, sustainability and going down to carbon zero yeah so fantastic well Naresh, thank you so much for joining us today yep. and what time's your panel 12 noon tomorrow. 12 noon tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. 12 noon tomorrow. We can come yeah, and watch there. you and yeah, hear absolutely. more about uh, the growth of yeah. infrastructure in Africa and yep. digital cool. transition. And and until then, thank you. And um, we look forward to continuing this conversation as, as the year progresses and into 2024 and beyond and, yeah. and all the great things that, that are to come. So, yeah, no, no. Keep, keep your eyes on IX Africa. It's going a long way now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Perfect. you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.